Number 13 is also a stoichiometry problem, but we have something different going on. It's giving us the grams of aluminum and the molarity and the volume of hydrochloric acid. As a result, I have enough information to independently get moles of each one of these things. Since that is true, I know that this is a limiting reactant problem. I also have the other clue that it asked me for something about the excess reactant. Since it's a limiting reactant problem, I'm going to set up an ice chart. Some of you like to do this and split it into rows and columns if you want to do that. That's certainly helpful. I need to fill this chart in in moles. I have five grams of aluminum. To get the moles of aluminum, I'm going to take the five grams and divide by the molecular weight, which is 27. Five divided by 27 gives me 0.185 moles of aluminum. For the hydrochloric acid, I have the molarity and the volume. I'm going to do molarity equals moles over liters. 0.2 times 1.2 gives me 0.24 moles of HCl. These each start at zero. My next step is to fill in the x's. Since I have a coefficient of 2, minus 2x, minus 6x, plus 2x, plus 3x. The left side of the reaction in a limiting reactive problem is going to decrease. The right side is going to increase. The next thing I need to do is I need to figure out which one is my limiting reactant. Um, when I don't have coefficients, it's really easy. I just pick whichever one's smaller. But when I do have coefficients, I need to do more thinking. Off to the side, I take the moles, each one's moles, so 0.185, and I divide by its coefficient. I take HCl's moles and I divide by its coefficient. At that point, whichever one of these two numbers is smaller tells me which one is the limiting reactant. In this case, hydrochloric acid is my limiting reactant. Since I know it's limiting, I know that this will go to zero. Now I can solve for what x is, and I can plug x into all of the other expressions to find my final moles of everything. 0.24 minus 6x equals 0. Solving for x, x is 0.04. Now that I know x is 0.04, I can plug it in each of these other places. 0 plus 2 times 0.04 gives me 0.08 moles of HCl. Hydrogen, 0 plus 3 times 0.04 gives me 0.12 moles of hydrogen. For my leftover aluminum, I need to do 0.185 minus 2 times 0.04. 0 0.185 minus 2 times 0.04 leaves me with 0.105 moles of aluminum. If I got a negative number here, I would have known I picked the wrong limiting reactant. And since I didn't, I know I did it correctly. Now, for A, the grams of excess reactant remaining. This is my excess reactant, the reactant that's not limiting. I have 0.105 moles of it left over, but the question's asking for grams. 0.105 times the molecular weight of 27. Gives me 2.84 grams of aluminum. B wants to know the grams of hydrogen produced. I produce 0.12 moles. Grams will equal moles times the molecular weight of hydrogen. giving me 0.24 grams of hydrogen produced. 